terms of what's included is three frames standard fan blades pre-installed reverse fan blades as well as cables also it does come with hydraulic bearing fluid to make sure that it never runs dry when it comes to the overall acoustical noise standard fan blade is 31.6 db the reverse fan blade is 34.1 db airflow is 119.6 cfm that's for one fan with a standard fan blade 102.3 cfm that is with a reverse fan blade as for air pressure standard fan blade is 3.57 millimeters h2o reverse fan blade is 2.95 millimeters h2o now as for the overall fan blades you can pull them out and they are reversible but it does come with three included reversible fans and all it is is easy as putting it in and then done so when it comes to the overall connections it does have four uh, pogo pins which once you connect them together they are magnetic and as you can see by here they snap together and that's pretty much it so for the overall connection you can connect up to three fans and they will just automatically click together and they will just snap apart with zero issues and no forces needed and that is easy just to snap them back together so as for installing the reverse fan blades it's as easy as pulling out the standard one and just installing the reverse fan blade as you can see right here It'll just go like that and snap back in. And that's it. That is as easy, very simple, very good quality fans. And of course, you get these reversible fan blades included in the three pack, which I find is a fantastic value. So when it comes to the Tough Fan EX140 Pros, it's connecting them, which is the most simplest ever. All you do is where the pogo pins go, take this and you go just like that and then to connect another one you do exactly the same thing just like that then you exactly the same again there and go done all three are connected and then you just take it off and it turns it off just like that as you can see they both snap together and then you can actually snap them like that and that is pretty much it when it comes to connecting so it is only this connector which is a magnetic on the side you click it and then they just power on which is very cool very good for using for your case when it comes to using it as a your front intake or your aio this is where it comes in handy with just this will power three fans just like that this is the silent wings pro four fans from be quiet a 50 percent fan speed barely audible this is them at 100 percent fan speed These fans have two different modes, silent mode and performance mode, and these are, this is what it sounds like at 100%. This is the Tough Fan EX140 Pros at 50% fan speed. And as you can hear, you can barely hear it. Now this is at 100% fan speed. This is the standard standard orientation out of the box. Now it's for the reverse fans. This is the reverse fan orientation of 50% fan speed. This is at 100% fan speed.
more certainly a lot louder. Okay, so when it comes to the overall thermals, now I've done two different types of tests. I've done a 50% fan speed and 100% fan speed. So for the Silent Wings Pro, uh, Pro 4 fans, Pro fans, Cinebench R23, the idols are 20, uh, 34 Celsius for the max of 88. Blender Classroom, the idols are 34 Celsius for the max of 85. Blender Pavilion, 34 on the idols, max was 85. 3D Mark CPU test, the idols were 34 Celsius for the max of 79. Now, at 100% fan speed, this is for the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 fans. So, the Cinebench R23, the idols are 28 Celsius for the max of 86. Blender Classroom, 28 again at idle with a max of 82. Blender Pavilion, idles 28, max 84. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles 28 Celsius and the max is 71 Celsius. Now that's the, the testing done for the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 fans. Now for the Tough Fan EX140s. This is at 50% uh, fan speed and the 5900X does have PBO enabled so it will draw a lot more power. So for Cinebench R23, the idles are 29 Celsius with a max of 82. Blender Classroom, idles are 29 with a max of 78. Blender Pavilion, the idles are 29 with a max of 78 again. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 29 with a max of 71 Celsius. Now, the Tough Fan EX140 Pros at 100% fan speed, the idles are 27 Celsius on Cinebench R23 with a max of 80. Blender Classroom, the idles are 27 with a max of 76. Blender Pavilion, the idles are 27 with a max of 76. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 27 Celsius with a max of 70 Celsius. Okay then guys, look. As for in-depth reviews, as you are aware if you're a fan of the channel i'm not known for doing in-depth reviews i usually leave that to the likes of gamers nexus and eurofile for me technics because generally they have the resources and the overall ability to actually do it properly now thermal take i met at tech max and they said we'll give you six weeks to review these i said i'd do it before that and we are coming up to almost four weeks so what i will say is i've given all the information that was stated on the website the air pressure the overall connectivity the overall price everything now what i really like about these fans is the simplicity now they look aesthetically pleasing they do look rather nice i do like the overall build quality the fan blades the overall bearing which is an hydraulic bearing and of course that would of course require lubricant but luckily thermal take does include lubricant inside the overall packaging now that does come with the reversible fans which of course are magnetic and once you sit it on it's as easy as that now these are 50 percent fan speed perform absolutely amazing really really quiet at 50 percent but 100% they sound like a jet turbine about to go meow. That's the only problem I really have with the fans is the overall loudness at 100%. But as you saw with the overall thermals, even at 50%, they still push a lot of air. So I wouldn't run them at 100% unless, of course, you don't care about noise or you wear a headset and you, the noise doesn't really bother you. Then, of course, that's up to you. Me personally, I'd run them at 50% because these are going to give you still excellent air pressure as well as excellent performance on an AIO or even in your case. Now, these push so much air at 100%, they start, well, my case started vibrating. That's how strong the overall the pressure that these are pushing. Now, like I said, the ease of use, I like it. I like the pogo pins. I like the fact that they just snap together. And then, of course, you've got the connector, which you just connect it, and boom, it connects up the three fans. Now, whether this connector here can connect up to more than uh, more than three fans, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually got more than three to test that theory, but I'm assuming because of the PWM signals, I'm assuming it only hold up to three. 
because the more you link up the less the voltage can actually go and that's when it starts to drop and that's when you start losing rpm on the fans but for three fans they work absolutely fantastic i like the overall look i like the aesthetics the price that can be really something that's up to you i think 75 pound for what actually you get is actually really really good and that's really my take on it now i don't do a lot of in-depth reviews as you will know if you're a friend uh, a viewer of the channel i don't do in-depth de reviews i do simple reviews for you guys so then it's easy just you don't need to see the overall everything but i got a challenge so i put a lot of work into showing you every nook and cranny of these fans and i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe because i've got so much stuff coming monta coming from target i've also asked them to see if they would be able to provide me with an intel test rig so i can retire my 5900x and am4 platform and put an intel system in there so i can give you better results with am5 and lj1700 so make sure you subscribe for that and as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you this is richard from welsh tech good bye